What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to speed up Windows 11 using MS Config. Uh, MS Config is similar to Task Manager, but controls a few different things, including um, some startup items we don't normally have access to. So uh, this is a great way to speed up your computer. Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you wanna support the channel, click on that join or thanks button below. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is go to your start menu and type in run. And then you're going to type in MS config. Once it loads up, uh, you'll probably be under normal startup, um, but we have two other options and we're going to be using selective startup and this will change automatically as we make changes. So we don't need to actually change it here. You'll see it change later. Um, but normally it's in a normal startup and then we can also choose diagnostic startup, which only loads the basic devices and services in Windows, not even the fancy Windows features, just the real basics. Um, and that way, if you have a virus or something like that, you can restart with just the basic services to see if something is specifically slowing down your computer. Um, once we get past this section, we can actually um, adjust what starts when we load our computer, which is actually really useful. Um, if we go to the boot menu, uh, it's funny that it says Windows 10 here. It's actually still under Windows 11, as you can see, but I had upgraded, so it kept the name Windows 10, which is kind of fun. Um, we can choose the next time we boot to go into safe boot if we choose. Uh, this is safe mode. Usually you have to press F8 or um, F10 to get into safe mode when you start your computer, but you can choose to boot into safe mode by applying this and then taking it off later. Um, the timeout is just how long it waits to choose between an OS. So if you have Windows and Linux installed, it'll give you 30 seconds to pick one to start before it actually picks the first one. If you only have one OS, you don't have to change anything here because it's not going to affect your startup time. It's just going to automatically go into the main one. Uh, so that's really useful there. If we go to advanced options, um, you may be tempted to adjust these, but it's really not worth it. It's not going to do anything to speed up your computer. Um, by default, Windows already uses all your processing cores, every logical processor, every core is being used on Windows. This is for development testing where you can actually choose, well, I want to see if the program will run on four cores or if you want to um, see if like something's not running properly or isn't multi-threaded, you can set the number of processors manually, um, but setting it to 16 won't magically make anything go faster. It's still going to be using the same amount as if you had it unchecked. Um, it's just for testing purposes, essentially. Maximum memory is kind of the same thing. You can say, I want to use less memory, but this only goes up to your maximum amount of memory anyway. So by default, that's how much you're using. Um, these are unnecessary settings uh, for the most part, unless you're doing advanced testing and stuff or diagnostics. Next up is we have the services tab. These are all of the services that are running um, on your PC. If you sort by status, it'll show you which ones are running and which ones are currently stopped but enabled. Um, that's important to notice is that these are um, stopped, but they are on, which means that they um, can start as needed. Um, so what we can do to speed up Windows is turn off some of these services that we're not using. Unfortunately, a lot of these services we really do need. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on hide all Microsoft services, and that's gonna get rid of everything um, that is needed by Windows to run. And then we can go in here and choose what we're actually gonna use. So I don't need my mobile connectivity stuff anymore because I changed to iPhone. Um, I don't need to set up AR service. Uh, virtual box is fine. All of these look good. If I can see any other ones that I don't want to use. Let's see, I don't know what FlexNet is, uh, so I'll turn that off. If one of my products stops working, I know that I could probably just go back in and turn it back on. Um, and that product will try to run the service anyway to see if it's running. Um, I'm actually gonna leave it on because I wanna avoid that. Um, but yeah, you can go through here and say, I don't use Autodesk anymore, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then once you've disabled the ones you don't use, like I use Dropbox a lot, so I want it to run. So I'm leaving that there, but I don't use Autodesk as much, so I'm gonna turn that off and hit apply. You can still use these programs and they'll still work when you manually run them. Um, it's just not gonna run in the background on um, startup and it's not gonna have the service running to um, basically talk to that program. So if the program stops working for any reason, you can go back in here and turn the service back on. Uh, we can also go to startup 
and um, startup will just open task manager. If you watched my task manager video, um, I went over some details on how to use that to um, choose uh, essentially what programs you want to run when you start your computer. Mine um, takes 16 or 17 seconds to start, and that's because I have these um, processes enabled. I have Windows Security, I have Google Drive, Razer Synapse for my mouse and keyboard, LG Hub for my headset, and Dropbox for work. So all of these start when um, my computer starts, and you can see that most of these are high impact and take a long time. If you wanted to make your computer start faster, you can just right click on this and disable, and Dropbox will no longer start when you start your computer. You'll get a faster load time, but you'll have to open it manually when you start, um, which is kind of a convenience thing. It's up to you if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, de definitely disabling a lot of these startup programs will speed up your, your load time. Going back into uh, MS Config, we can go to Tools. And these are all the tools that we can use. Um, I'm going to make videos on each one of these individually, but essentially each one of these tools does something different. Uh, resource manager, performance manager, um, we have task manager, which is what we just showed. All of these are different programs that can help you uh, view, monitor, manage, diagnose your computer. Um, if we go to about Windows, for example, this just tells us about this version. So we could click launch and you'll see that we're on Windows 11, which build we're on. Um, if we need that information, the account we're logged into and it's licensed to, etc. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about uh, MS Config or any of these tools that you'd like me to make a video on, please leave it in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.